Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY do-it-yourself fidget spinner, carabine, paracord, quip and go carry. Little thing. It's a little fidget spinner carrier. So yeah. Now I checked on YouTube and I haven't really seen anyone come up with the idea of you know, killing your fidget spinner on like your belt loop with a carabiner and some paracord. So I believe, hopefully, this is you know the first video on YouTube of how to make a DIY fidget spinner, paracord, carabiner, carrier. I don't know, maybe someone else did, but I checked and I haven't really seen anyone else do it yet. So maybe this is you know the first video on YouTube. Of how to make a quip and go fidget spinner carrier. Maybe. Anyway. So what are you going to need? One, a fidget spinner. Obviously. Important piece. Fidget spinner. Do be aware that you need a specific fidget spinner. So, you know. Let me get these other two out. Yeah. Come on. So yeah. Fidget spinners like these are not going to work. Um, some coin fidget spinners are going to work, but more often than not, you're going to want to go with, you know, kind of like this additional fidget spinner right here. That, you know, obviously this one has press weights in there, but if you get, you know, kind of traditional ones that has, you know, the actual Esther Spear ball bearing weights and ball bearings in it, the little bearings, it was that too. But you want one kind of like this design. Many different color, different button caps, but you know, it has to have the hole in the little arms right there. So, yeah, that's up. Some type of carabiner. Actually, yeah, I'm going to use this one because it's a little bit better and fitter than this one. And of course, paracord. I don't know what paracord this is. 150, 250. No, 125, 250, 350. I don't think this is like a 475, but I know it's not a 550 pair of cords, because, you know, 550 pair of cords are like this, you know. Bitter, fitter than this one. 550 pair of cords are used like in, you know, voice, survival bracelets. So, uh, if you have 550 paracord, actually I'm using this one to wear on to make a bracelet. So if you're like, oh, why don't you use this one? I'll be in use on another project, okay? But, you know, you might want to use standard, you know, 550 paracord for, like, bracelet maintenance. But, this is just what I have on hand, so how are we going to make it? Well, Simple. Just take it. Measure out as much as you want. Now, if you're saying, oh, how much do you need? That's all up to you. Do you want to wear it high? Do you want to wear it low? Do you want to wear it medium? How you want it to hang? That's all up to you. So, I'm just going to go ahead here and try to measure it as best as I can to try to determine how I want this thing to hang on me. Uh, maybe a little bit shorter. Uh, a little hard here to hold because I'm still doing hand measurements. Come on, a little bit shorter than that. Yeah, something about that. Much is what I'm going to go for. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off right here. Not the video, but the paracord. Here we go. So yeah. How long is this one? 
Um, let me see if I, I have my ruler somewhere around here. Right there, six inches. So let me mark six inches and a little bit under five, so about 11 inches. So double that up. So let's see here. About maybe 22 inches a paracord you want as for how much millimeters I don't know I already do it with inches so about 22 inches of paracord is what you want but of course you know you could choose because you're the one that's gonna be made in this if you want to make it longer shorter for me this is about maybe a short medium size so 22 inches of paracord so what you're going to do, uh, get these ends lined up again, take it, kind of go ahead and find a place to knot it up at. So I'm just going to try knot it right about there. Um, if you want to take like, where is it? You know, a liar and melt the ends, you could go ahead. Uh, just for now, I'm not, because I'm going to readjust the knot, made it maybe a little bit better. But just for the video, I'm just going to leave these uncut. So then you're saying, oh, wow, I got this. What do I do? Well, here's what you do you take it, kind of make that loop, put it right through there. Okay, so now how do I secure it? Well, since you got the loop, take it. Put it right in there, that little loop. Close it and oh, look. Let me kind of get those out of the way a little bit. But see, and then you know you could just clip it onto your pants belt loop, and then whenever you want a fidget spin, you know just pull it up a bit and clip it then. Wow, DIY fidget spinner carabine clip and go, you know. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I got this idea actually from uh, yo-yo things. I know Dunton, they have kind of like this where it's on a carabiner. It's on elastic. It has one of those push stoppers on it where you just open it up like this, put your yo-yo inside of it. Actually, let me grab a yo yo so you can kind of have a better idea. Um, let's go with this one because it's a little bit easier to let with you know, the butterfly. So, theirs is kind of like you know, made out of last and what you like, the idea was you taped it, you uh, loop it in there, and then you take the little push stopper and then you pull it down and let go and then it'll stay there. So then you put it on your pants, on your belt loop and stuff, and it'll stay until you know you move the stopper up and then take the yo-yo out. And uh yo yo factory they had some of those too. And they also had some leather ones. They're usually like ten bucks but would those work for a fidget spinner? Uh probably not because you know it's always kinda like a pull and slide and with the fidget spinner you wanna have it pass through the hole and kind of do a loop type of thing. So yeah, I'm really happy. I mean, you know, if you could happen to find, you know, a good carabiner for a cheap price, put that up. Fidget spinners, pretty cheap, but you know, they have to have the holes, or these press weights, or 
the Barons, so anyone like these will not work. What about coin spinners? Uh, some coin spinners will work, but if you get like the Pokeball ones, like you know those completely flat ones, they're not gonna work, obviously. Cause you know it'll be like this, like how are you gonna get it to work for this? It doesn't have a hole in it. So yeah. But yeah. Hopefully, hopefully this is you know the first YouTube DIY physics spinner, quip and go carabiner idea. Hopefully. I don't know yet. I did, but I didn't want really to see anyone else do this idea, so yeah. So yeah, that's how you make a little fidget spinner quip and go carrier. All you need is carabiner, paracord, and obviously a fidget spinner. So hopefully you learned something. You like this little DIY idea. And so People might be saying, but why would you do that? You know, you could just stick this in your pocket. Well, what if your pockets are too small if, or you have a fidget spinner that's too big? Or what if you have a fidget spinner that, you know, something like these that you're going to pay good money for? Well, these ones, you know, I got a pretty good, pretty good deal and you could get some of these for a good deal on Amazon. But, you know, like Spinnercraft and other websites like that where you're going for like $23, $45, you know, why would you want to do this? Well, Obviously, you want to have it in your hand and, you know, spin it around and play with it and stuff. But you don't want to, like, worry about it falling out of your pocket and dropping it or getting it all marred up with, like, little scratches and stuff. So, that's the idea. Or, you know, like, what if you want to go in, grab a quick bite, you know, maybe at, like, McDonald's or a Burger King or something. You just have it there. Or if you're driving or something, you're like, oh, wait, hold on. I'm driving, but, you know, it feels weird with my pants pocket, because, you know, I have this in my pants pocket suit while I'm trying to drive. Well, now you can just clip it on and go. I don't know, at least I like my idea. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. If you like it, subscribe, wait, leave a comment. Alright, thanks. Bye.